What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about house points uh, in Hogwarts Legacy. So here's the deal. I made the video uh, a couple days ago, okay? We talked about, well, a few videos ago, actually, we talked about relationships in terms of a love interest, but then we talked about house, uh, like your house in Hogwarts Legacy, and we talked about how what would that do to your character? Would that buff certain things? Would that give you an advantage in certain ways, but a, you know, a, a negative kind of thing in other ways? And you guys seem to really, really like it. I definitely appreciate your support. And the comments were very interesting. One of uh, the comments told me to not sleep on the house cup because that you know that could be important. And I, hey, I, I, again, I mean no disrespect. If I don't, if I kind of um, shade something in in the Wizarding World, or something like that, it doesn't mean I hate it. Okay, or it doesn't mean I, I hate the Wizarding World in general because I know there's going to be the lunatics that think that but and I know that these people aren't them um but that's just something uh you know to keep in mind okay so you know that got me an idea and somebody else actually mentioned in the comments too about how house points could actually be something that could be important because they could be something that um changes how characters see you so I, I definitely want to go down that avenue I want to try and go down a couple other avenues of how house points could actually work in this game maybe they are actually way more important uh than I would think so so as always, before we get too far in, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, so you know all these videos. I'll be doing a new Hogwarts Legacy video every four or five days is when you can expect a new one. And final thing, I know I keep asking this, but if you guys haven't followed me over on Twitter yet, Podcast Now 15 is my Twitter handle. Link for that's in the description below. Would love to have you guys over there. Okay, so I, I definitely want to go down the, uh, you know, how people perceive you based off of your house points, because I do think that's really interesting. So I guess to say this first, this is the most important thing. I do think there'll be house points. Without house points, uh, this video doesn't work. This idea doesn't work, right? So I do think throughout the game, you will be awarded points. It's And we've talked about it a little bit before, right? It's actually, I would say, a pretty easy way of just making a livable, like making the world a little bit more livable, right? Knowing that what you do has consequences at least a little bit. Now, again, that when I say a little bit, that's where it can really stretch. That's where your guys' ideas of, well, you know, maybe if you have a really high score, now you could win something, like maybe the House Cup at the end of the year. And again, that's a little um, confusing or a little odd because we don't necessarily know, I've said this before too, how many years were there. So if we're a fifth year, but we lived through years five, six, and seven, well, technically there could be three House Cups. And the only reason I mention that is because if you win something at the end of the year, but it's the end of the game, well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it could be a trophy, like a PlayStation trophy. It could be an achievement, like an Xbox achievement. But, like, that would be it. You know what I mean? So, like, if you get, maybe you get, like, a new broomstick. Or maybe you get, um, or, like, you get, like, a charm or a spell. Or you get, like, additional skill points. I mean, it can really be, you know, whatever you want it to be, right? In, in terms of us just speculating. But if you give it to us at the end of the game... That doesn't really make sense. So the house cup to me only works if you're going to be around for multiple years, right? Because if you're in the fifth year and there's a house cup for years five, six, and seven, five and six do matter because then you'd be able to carry whatever you win into the next year. But then, you know, the ending of year seven, obviously, uh, again, that kind of wouldn't matter. So you have that. And obviously, so the house cup could be something like that. And again, the house cup could be a buff on your um, your, your attack or your defense, or it can make you make spells or a uh, potions faster right it could increase spells i mean again like the the options are truly endless so there's that aspect to it now a more minute to minute feel for house points could very well be how people perceive you now again this gets very detailed this gets to something that it's either they do it or they don't and right we talked about this with troy a few days ago or about troy where i believe if they don't have certain things in this game again it doesn't mean that they you know hate it doesn't mean that they hate that feature it doesn't mean that they um you know flat out forgot about it it just probably means that they can't do literally everything that's what the ideas of sequels are for uh and you know you have to just kind of root for them to do as much um right now as humanly possible but you, again you have to keep your expectations kind of in check so this very well could not happen in fact i would more expect this to not happen but i, I love to be surprised right how people view you so if you are now again this could work in a couple different ways if your house maybe is leading in points throughout the year maybe you get bonuses for that uh, maybe people in your house look like just are maybe they're easier to talk to you could go down that route so there's really two ways i'm trying to think of like breaking this up you could look at it as okay so you can either be like leading in house points or not leading so that's one aspect but you as a person you as a character could be 
uh, awarding your house points or could be deducting house points. So you could be the cause of positive, and you could also be the cause of, of, of having points taken away. You see where I'm kind of coming at it from? So I wonder, and these, again, are completely all speculation, so I want to hear from you guys in the comments. If you are winning, if your house is, like, in the lead throughout the year, I would imagine, and so say just this is from like an entire house perspective, not you as a character. Maybe everybody in the house is easier to talk to. Maybe you're able to get relationships with these characters easier. Like everything's kind of buffed up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a double XP weekend, but it lasts the entire year, all right? So it'd be like that. Maybe you as a character, maybe you get additional features like uh and again maybe like your your charms are kind of upped by you know 10 percent or you know again what i like these are these are very weird things or your attacks do 15 percent more damage but if your house uh falls behind so if you're in first place maybe you get 15 percent damage then if your house falls maybe you get 10 then maybe you get five then maybe you get maybe if you're uh like last place out of the four houses maybe you actually do negative so there's there's ways of doing that as well so that's that's one thing okay then i think honestly that would be, these are all just random you know throwing things against the wall seeing what sticks then from you as a person and again i don't know if both of these things could even happen because again this is asking for i would say a lot you as a person, so if you are gaining points, if you're the reason why your house is gaining points throughout the year. Now, again, this could, I guess, also be broken into two things. You could still get the same benefits from what I just said. So, like, if you're gaining points uh, for your house, but your house is winning or it's leading in the race, maybe you're still getting the same, like, buffs. But I would imagine the thing that is a little bit more realistic is probably everything I've said up until this point probably would just be the throw away because I don't actually believe they'll happen. They could, and, they, and maybe they should, but the, the, I, I really don't think they will. But I could see... You as an individual, if you yourself earns points for your house, I could see positive things coming to you. I could see buffs. I could see, uh, again, maybe it makes you more likable. So, again, that's kind of what that person said uh, in the comments. Maybe you are more likable, which is the same thing I'm saying as maybe people are, like, easier to talk to. Maybe you can get, like, better uh, conversation choices from them. Something like that. Okay, something like that. That's what I think that you could probably get if you're gaining. If you're losing points, if you are the cause of, you know, your house losing points, same thing, only a negative. So maybe you would lose. Uh, I don't know. Again, maybe your maybe your defense would go down. Maybe you couldn't attack as much. Maybe again, and then from a, a character perspective, like a like a personal perspective, maybe people aren't so easy to talk to. Maybe uh, people. In, so say you're in. I don't know why I keep uh, you know attracting myself to Slytherin because I am going to play as Gryffindor first. But say you're in Slytherin, maybe the people of House Slytherin are not going to be very you know excited to talk to you. And again, does that mean they won't talk to you? No, they probably will. It's just that maybe it's harder to get the better dialogue decisions because you've been kind of so negative. You know what I mean? And then again, how you would actually get these points or lose these points. I know I mentioned it actually many, many months ago, something as simple as skipping a class and being caught. So I do think you'll be able to skip classes because you'll be able to go to classes. So if you can go, as long as it's not a cut scene of like, okay, I want to go to potions class today and you go, like if it's like, a, we've talked about an internal clock, right? A game clock. If there's a clock and it's like, okay, you have to be here at this time. And if you're not, well, you're skipping. It's okay as long as you don't get caught. So if you do get caught, you probably get, you know, uh, punished in some way. That could be detention, right? Or that could maybe be house points being taken away. So that's an easy way. Maybe um, being, I, I know I keep going to like things being caught. Maybe being caught in areas of Hogwarts you're not allowed to be in. I don't really know what else. I guess, oh, okay, maybe, um, maybe you're allowed to do spells on people, but you're really not supposed to, obviously. And so if you hurt somebody or if you do a spell to somebody and you get caught or maybe like a fight breaks out inside Hogwarts, like if that happens maybe like you get again kind of punished for that so these are all again kind of just ways i'm thinking of how you could be punished and which maybe could be a, its own video entirely uh you know on its own but maybe those are ways you could lose uh house points and then again positive ways maybe going to your class uh, well that's a little bit tougher right because house points is seemingly in ha in, uh, in harry potter what we've seen from like the books and movies really you do have to do something kind of above and beyond like going to class on time doesn't exactly give you house points right that's something that it's kind of uh, expected of you so maybe helping somebody maybe somebody's caught in a tree and you use a spell to bring them down maybe something like that maybe uh i don't know maybe doing extra work right uh, again that, that uh, that's a little bit harder I, I like to think of more of the evil uh, aspects to things uh, rather than the good but i'm sure you can come up and maybe you guys can in the comments come up with ways of like being extra good right getting points for being really good so i really think 
if anything that this video has taught me, you know, having recorded it just now, uh, kind of thinking back, is that there is so many possibilities, really. I mean, you have, again, you have multiple factions of how house points could positively and negatively affect your, your house in general, so multiple students, how it could impact you, you know, as an individual, how you get house points in general, right? And again, even if, even, even if you want to take it to the uh, house cup, what the house cup could actually give you. So, Again, these are, um, I love making these videos. It is a little worrying because we do talk about so many, and I do it to myself. I'm not saying it's you guys' fault. We talk about so many different things that I do think it gets people excited or hopeful or wanting or even expecting certain things to happen in the game. And again, as I keep saying, we do have to keep our expectations in check. I love making these videos. I love talking about these possibilities. But again, in reality, I only expect like less than half of the things I talk about to actually appear in the game, right? So we'll have to see. I mean, obviously, we want to keep our expectations high and we want to hold everybody working there um, accountable, right? But we also do have to be sure we're ready for not every single thing we've ever talked about to appear in the game. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? How do you think house points will be you know, given or taken away from you? How do you think it'll impact you as a student, you as a house, all that stuff? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. Again, I make a new video on Hogwarts every four or five days. Podcast now 15, remember, is my Twitter handle. Make sure you guys are following me over there. Thank you all so much for watching. Your support, by the way, you guys have been doing awesome. I mean, these videos continue to just do really, really well, even when the game is just so far away. So I'm going to be keeping it up. We are, we really are like the pillar for Hogwarts Legacy. I, I think uh, this channel has been the pillar for a very long time. We're going to continue. Okay. By the way, small hint, most people aren't going to make it here, but I do have some very interesting, uh, we'll say collaboration in the works. It's not necessarily a collab and you can read into that however you want, but some really interesting things could be happening very soon. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.